My name is Lauren Crisanti. I'm a rehab and neuropsychologist, and I work in the brain injury unit at Northwestern Medicine Mary and Joy Rehabilitation Hospital. Because brain injury patients experience dramatic and drastic changes in their functioning and loss of independence, psychology plays a key role in helping patients and their families understand what they're going through, provide treatment interventions to help manage their symptoms, and to reassure them that things will get better over time. Some patients that come to Mary and Joy have very severe brain injuries in which they may experience significant confusion and severe impairments in their memory and other cognitive or thinking abilities. And so sometimes they have trouble answering questions, depending on where the injury is in their brain, they may even have trouble speaking. And so they're not necessarily appropriate in kind of one-on-one -on -one treatment interventions with psychology. In those situations, psychology really works with the families to provide education about the different effects from a brain injury and how they can help the patient. And importantly, that it's usually temporary and these things do get better over time. There are a lot of different treatment interventions that psychology use to treat patients with brain injury. One of the most important psychological methods in treating patients with brain injury is really just listening, active listening, and really kind of explore what they're thinking about their injury, what they're feeling, help them process those emotions and thoughts that they're having about their injury, and to normalize and validate that what they're experiencing is often normal for the situation they're going through. For patients who are having symptoms of depression, we might use cognitive behavioral interventions to help patients identify and recognize any negative thoughts they might be having about their injury, help them focus on what's going well, and maybe uh, provide some alternative, more positive thoughts about their experience. And sometimes we use relaxation strategies to help patients reduce their symptoms of anxiety that might be associated with what they're going through. When patients have very severe deficits in memory or cognition or they're very confused, I'm not able to do one-on-one -on -one treatment interventions with them because oftentimes they're not understanding what the intervention is or they're not able to carry over that information from session to session. So in those situations, I work very closely with the families in providing caregiver support and resources to help the families help the patient. Some advice that I would have for physicians who do not typically work with the brain injury population is just to know that this is very likely the first time the patient is going through the situation and to provide reassurance to them and their families that they will get better over time and that many of the symptoms they're experiencing are temporary. And to know that this population is at a higher risk for developing symptoms of depression and anxiety and to ask the patients how they're feeling and make referrals to psychology and mental health uh, professionals as appropriate.